everyone if this is the first video that you're seeing from me my name is Patricia and I just moved to Iceland a few days ago actually and I'm on my way to university because I'm studying a master's study in geology and yeah I'm going to meet a professor for the first time to talk about my study plan but today I have to go to a grocery store desperately and after that we have some furniture arriving today at five o'clock so I have to be home for this and <laughs> clean up everything because after IKEA yesterday we didn't really get the chance to clean anything at all so yeah that's the plan for today and I, I'm so in love with Reykjavik right now this is a kitty that wants to come into the house like every time that we are here we have no idea where he's from he has a little color <laughs> but yeah if i like open this balcony door he will just come into the house yesterday while we were loading stuff <laughs> he was just waiting here <laughs> and he was just trying to come in i have no idea why whose kitty this is <laughs> i kind of want to adopt him but obviously we can't okay i'm home I just got back from talking to the professor and it's actually like 3 p.m. now I didn't get to talk to the professor in the morning like when I was supposed to and I just came home and cleaned up a bit because everything was super messy I didn't really vlog it I just wanted to hurry up with things I had lunch like the first time sort of cooking here it was a pre-made pasta. It was kind of disgusting, but yeah. Okay, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I thought Iceland didn't have bugs, but these mosquitoes are so big and they are everywhere. I don't know what's the thing with it. Yeah, it's so disgusting. <laughs> but like I was saying, everything looks a lot better, even with the dirty dishes because we still don't have like a sponge or a paper towel or, or something to clean the kitchen it's looking <laughs> so much cleaner than it was we just put things randomly in the the cabinets and in the drawers nothing is done yesterday i didn't show you but we finished building this little ladder and it's really helpful to reach the upper cabinets we still have our suitcases, they are not unpacked yet. The bedroom is looking messy because it's just a mattress on the floor and we still don't have curtains. But hopefully by today we get to have like a decent bedroom that it doesn't look like that because that is awful and like living room furniture and somewhere to sit. I'm so tired of eating on the floor and so uncomfortable because I don't really have a place to rest like we just put the mattress on the floor about like 1 a.m. because that's when we finished building things and I didn't vlog that part because I was way too tired but yeah I'm exhausted I haven't been sleeping I had all these plans like on Tuesday which was the day that I was traveling to Iceland I was just going to get to know the city Wednesday was for going to Ikea and buying the basic stuff and also go grocery shopping we still haven't done that we only got to Ikea yesterday which was Thursday today is Friday the plan that we get for Friday was to go to the Sky Lagoon which is like a spa here in Iceland in Reykjavik that is like the Blue Lagoon that's really famous I'm glad I didn't book that because we have absolutely no time for those activities I haven't got to the volcano yet I came to Iceland to study volcanoes the volcano erupted a week before I arrived here I wanted to go immediately but like I have no idea how to get there yet because we don't have a car my boyfriend went to get a car that is like a rental thingy that you rent by minute so it's just to go to the grocery store and I don't think we can take that car to the volcano I'm not sure but yeah <laughs> we haven't done that much fun stuff 
because we aren't really in livable conditions like we still have so much paperwork to take care of <laughs> that is actually insane like I have to take care of the things that I need to start classes on Monday which is in three days and get this place like in a minimal living condition because this is messy but yeah hopefully today it will get done I'm back and this was all we brought I'm not going to show you everything that we got but I feel like this is interesting because when I researched like what was living in Iceland I really wanted to know the prices of groceries and like, everyday stuff and I have to say like everything is expensive like you would expect but compared to the current prices because of the war and after Covid it's not that different from Portugal it, which is what I'm used to like we bought a full cart like <laughs> full 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 and we spent 250 euros which is a lot in groceries but like we didn't have anything at home this is our first time grocery shopping and we just bought like essentials that we are not going to need to buy every week yeah I ran out of battery again and what I was saying is some items are very different like ham and cheese is more expensive and just like regular chicken breasts like the little steaks they are super expensive like 25 euros olive oil we are already expecting it but it's a bit more expensive but not that much and also like boxes of cereals they are huge here and they don't sell like a smaller sizes they just sell these huge like family size boxes and we have no idea why everything is a bit more expensive it was way more expensive because we are not used to the prices and we are not used to the items that can be more cheap we were just buying things that we get used to so <laughs> this will probably get a little better with time I guess yeah but right now we are pretty upset <laughs> because like in every vlog things never go as planned it seems here in Iceland like I told you we wore the um, stuff from Jisk yesterday and they were supposed to arrive after 5 we got home at like 5.15 and we didn't have any calls or anything at around 7 we started getting really worried because they weren't arriving and they were supposed to arrive until late so we tried to call them and see if everything was okay uh, but the customer service closes at 6 and after that we noticed that my phone number was wrong they put my correct phone number but the number is before the number that means that the number is Portuguese was wrong so they have no way to contact us they aren't responding to our emails and now again we don't have curtains we don't have sponges we don't really have anything to clean our stuff with we are going to spend another night without a table and also without a couch but the worst thing is really the curtains because especially in the bedroom we have this blanket that it already moved to cover the window a bit and in the living room uh, yeah it's all windows so we just kind of feel like we are in a fishbowl because people can see everything that we are doing especially now with the lights on <sighs> yeah we were cleaning everything and now <laughs> we don't feel like doing it but yeah after grocery shopping this is pretty bad again <laughs> 
but we kind of needed the furniture to like make this livable and we also still don't have towels that were supposed to arrive today <laughs> moving out by ourselves in another country it's not easy like at all <laughs> yeah i'm not going to say what you just said <laughs> because I don't feel like exposing us <laughs> this much but things are bad at least now we have toilet paper <laughs> and food <laughs> so yeah <laughs> let's look on the positive side of things but it's not being easy right now so it's 11 p.m. and obviously the delivery guys didn't came so another day without curtains and a bunch of other things <laughs> yeah we just did some laundry for the first time and now we think we are going to try to build a little table that we bought from Ikea to have some sort of surface here to like put things in because we don't have an actual kitchen table I'm exhausted and I wanted to get some decent sleep tonight but I don't think I'm going to have that yet We are at the bus stop again because we came to the store to see if they could make the delivery today because they missed it yesterday Apparently my phone number was wrong, my address was wrong so they had no way to reach us I don't know how that happened but we just bought like a mop and a broom and also a toaster so at least we didn't came here just to talk to the guys about the delivery yeah. we are trying to get home but today is kind of a special day in Iceland we haven't figured it out why so yeah we are trying to make it home but it's not happening and it's pretty cold we finally have furniture but yeah like everything uh, they forgot something they forgot the baskets with the smaller items like the towels and the curtains and they forgot the dining table so they just delivered the couch and the chairs I'm so excited and happy because everything has been so messy and yeah, apparently the thing that I was talking about in the last clip Tonight is, is some special night and there is fireworks And we are trying to see if we can go to that So we have to hurry up with building and getting everything ready Because we want to see what those celebrations look like And yeah, the bed is looking really cute right now Hopefully tonight things will start looking a little bit better because everything has been so hectic lately and I just wanted to do fun Iceland stuff and we just been taking care of household things and running errands <laughs> and I wasn't expecting my first week in Iceland to be like that they finally delivered everything but this table looks really small compared to what we saw in the store
benefício dela. Pronto, benefício. Se pega. There is still fireworks outside, but like you can see, we didn't really get ready to go to the festival. It turns out it was a festival, it's, a, it's culture night, it's something like that in Iceland. But we figured out there is going to be a lot of more festivals. Like, it's super loud, this must be the ending. But yeah. We just had to put the curtains up because we didn't want to spend another night feeling like we were living in a fishbowl and also <laughs> we have been eating like pretty shitty food and we were just craving like a home cooked meal and I made chicken teriyaki with some spinach and rice and it looks pretty good First home cooked meal. Let's do a taste test. It's very good, very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chef Patricia, like seven stars, Michelin stars. Very good stars. Very good food, very tasty food. I like it very much. Good wine, too. Yeah, we wanted to get wine for our first real meal, but apparently in Iceland they don't sell alcohol in grocery stores and we had to go to a specific store and obviously we didn't went, it was way too much trouble just to have alcohol. <laughs> so I, obviously I forgot to end the vlog yesterday I think this vlog is already way too long I have no idea what's in it but yeah I'm going to start a new vlog today and I just wanted to say that I hope that you have been enjoying the moving vlogs I have no idea when I'm going to edit them but if you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more of this moving series because there is still a long way to go I hope that you can subscribe and yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!